behind the scenes, of course. Make a new poll. Uh, which path to take? Um, Austria slash Catholicism. Uh, or Brandon Berg slash Protestants. And start poll. So that should be running. You should see it in the chat. And you should be able to click with some boutons. And we just got some whiskey and chocolate. Hey, Warwolf, thank you very much. You've accomplished your mission. I purchased the game. It's 10% off. Well, that's good. I like that a lot of games tend to do the 10% off at release. You know, it's it's really smart from a sort of PR business point of view because it increase it like, you know, obviously you're gonna get a lot of sales at release, maybe a little bit more if you tempt with the sale, and that helps to bring you up the the Steam charts, you know, of like, you know, the best selling games of the week kind of thing, which means more people see it, which means more sales. Just really, really, really smart. All right, poll is polling. Interesting to see how people want us to go there. Vote for a trip to Ibiza. Yeah, let's just leave. Let's just go on vacation. Like screw these things. <laughs> Don't have any channel points on CQ3 stream. Yeah, so some people spent all their uh, channel points on a uh, prediction on Wednesday. Uh, maybe using them all wasn't the way to go. All right, is the poll done? View results. It looks like with a 10% margin, people would like us to side with Brandenburg and the Protestants. All right, done. So we have to go to Brandenburg. We have to establish a lodge there and then get to work. Well, we're gonna have to do a few things. So we need to get someone to Brandenburg first. Let's um, uh, let's grab Walter. He's handsome, it's, it keeps being pretty handy. And we're gonna send you to Brandenburg. Oh, I'm paused. Wouldn't be a quill stream if I didn't forget to unpause at some point. All right, let's get ourselves a couple of Brandenburgian ne neophytes. I'm gonna bring the speed back down to normal. get another one still 100% chance that's good and then what I might do uh, you are French oh this is the brand Bergen yes who are you Eric von Fjordbach. Uh I'm gonna go and put you under the Porter role I guess so we're gonna have a new master he's gonna be Brandon Bergen and Are you not on the map? Oh, there you are. Can you do... So we could check the lodge, but the thing is we don't have we don't have enough infiltration. Our infiltration must be higher than 60% in total. Um, so we're currently zero, so that's no good, and we'll need some resources as well. We're going to have to do the government infiltration thing, but I think we're going to do that with a neophyte to get some information. How's it going in France, by the way? We still don't have info. Do I not have you running, exploring the power structure? And maybe it takes a while. I think it's a percentage chance. We'll start to see some of these start to get uncovered over time. I think that's the way it was working for me earlier. Um, I'm going to get you, who actually live here, are going to recruit another neophyte. Because, yeah, it gets rid of the, uh, the stranger penalty, because that would probably start to accumulate. If we take a look over here, eh, you're still 100%. All right, we'll get a couple more. But you're going to get you... Uh, not Brotherhood. There we go. Okay, Neophytes came in quickly. Government. We're going to explore the structure of the government. Oh, I was misinterpreting how this works. This is if we want to make sure we don't spend some of our resources here. But yeah, generally speaking, setting that at zero is going to be okay. Um, compromising officials. We'll look for incriminating evidence, get those employees who don't join the Brotherhood removed from their posts. Right, so if we try to recruit someone and they say no, this is how we kick them out. I think what I'll do is I'll just run a second one to explore the power structure. And let's see what we can do. Can we explore the government with Master? I'm not sure, actually. 
Intelligence? No, that's enemy information. Captives, counteraction, brotherhood. I don't think we can. I think it's specifically a neophyte thing. You know what then? Let's get you it's whiskey exploring the power structure as well. And there's a 0% chance of anything, so theoretically you should be running. And we should start to see some things over here. Hopefully in not too distant future. Whiskey and chocolate. Oh, hey, no one. Hold on. I got to tab out and see this. Uh, oh, <laughs> as a new member of the Brotherhood, I think I was sold a bill of goods, considering that the entire set of masters running this thing are people we just recruited off the street. We should at least have some old masters to train them a touch. I mean, yeah, although the one old master we've got is kind of a, a drunkard. Also the guy in game. Just talk about myself. Is there a super angry baker on the map? Maybe he's out of dough. Oh. Now we could just start trying to recruit blindly. We don't even know the percentage chance. Sorry, which ones are... Did we not assign a Brandenburgian person to... Oh yeah, this guy right over here. Eric. Brandenburg. There you go. Um, so we're just going to try with a little persuasion here and see how it goes. Oh, did I have Austria selected? Maybe I had Austria selected before. Oh, we have zero local power. That might be why they're not running. Hang on. Um, I need to transfer some money. some power into this country. That might be why. Maybe because they have, like, zero resources. Let me... Uh, we'll transfer a few others. We'll get, like, a hundred of each in this country, anyway. Just from our global supply. How long till Elder God summoning? I'm confused. This just worked perfectly fine. When I was doing the... Uh, when I was doing my run pre-release. What am I doing wrong? Or am I just being impatient? Use a master to collect information on someone in the government screen. Oh! Ah! There you go. Okay, cool. Thank you. Good point. Okay. There we go. So we can unlock people this way. I thought they would do it on their own, though. That's how I was doing it. Um, that's how I did it before. But I guess... Okay. We'll just collect information manually. Oops. Wrong button. Collect information manually. This goes quite quickly, actually. Like we don't even know who the king of... Uh, I don't know if it's a king or, or what. The ruler. We don't even know who the ruler of the country is. Alright, now we've uncovered everything. Great stuff. So what are we looking at here? Uh, ooh, set up surveillance. What? Track the movement and activity of selected agent for 150 days. All information about the individual and surveillance will be regularly updated. Brotherhood will know if anything changes in the profile. Okay, that's fine, but let's recruit. 63%. 73% if we don't use the foreigner. Let's 
a zero percent chance. Okay, let's not go for you right now. Now we are using we are using uh, uh, Walter Wilson, who is not um, from Brandenburg, so it might not be quite as successful with him. Oh, these are protests. That's why people are talking about the angry bakers. All these protests happening. Oh, I should go back to the uh, the regular map mode. Yes. Okay. We now have a brother here. That's good. Chief Treasurer. If we use... Oh, that's still a really low chance. Okay, let's visit some people lower down in this category. Only 60%. I think I'm going to try it. These neophytes are going to change their errands. You are going to go to a compromise official. So if anyone says no, we're going to start messing with them. What else can you do? Oh yeah, you can... Uh, that's right! With Instead of transferring stuff, I could have run these guys with um, missions to gather resources. Which might still not be a bad idea. What else we got? Oh, that's for competitors if we know about any enemy units sitting around in here. Alright, yeah, find me some resources. It's whiskey and chocolate! You only have currently one loyalty. Are you going to be easier to recruit? Maybe not as easy as you'd like. Oh, there we go. 90% chance to get this guy. Got whiskey and chocolate. Hang on. Bam. What about some of these other guys? Use the correct person. Well, it's maybe not... Oh! Oh, need more global resources. Yes, indeed we do. Okay. Got whisk and chocolate. Hold on. We're going to go to England. We're going to pull out... Oh, yeah. We're going to yank a ton of money out of this. Do I... Oh, I don't have a master here anymore. Withdraw. Although I can do it with the treasurer, can't I? Great out. Maybe if the treasurer wasn't busy? Hmm. Maybe you have to move someone back over there. You know what's fine? Walter Wilson, we're going to move you back to England. Yeah, just move Walter back. Yeah. We can use them to make things. So, what was the whiskey and chocolate? A gold one! Thank you very much! Yes, I am going to be participating in London Dare next weekend. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's going to be rough because it's going to be a very busy week next week. But I'm going to try my best. All right, England. There we go. Withdraw. Like, a ton of influence. There we go. Is this... Okay, no, we're not involved. Good. No. 59%. I mean, it's not bad. 82%. There you go. Although we've already got plenty of influence in this category. But we're gonna need we're gonna need dudes in all the categories, or I mean we need 60% total influence. Which we could theoretically just do by hammering one type of category, but probably makes more sense to spread it around. It was not, not survey. Recruitment. 100% chance! Philosopher Vanity. Wow. From Target's Vanity. Ah! He's so vain. He probably thinks the secret society is for him. Um, there's not the whole of the world, but there are parts of the new world over here. And, and things. Although, maybe that's more of the other scenario, actually. Maybe in free play you've got the whole world. I don't know. Because we're just in the uh, the England-centric mission, so it might actually be slightly different. Okay. This treasurer... Oh, yeah, that is really low. Although, with a bribe... Okay, let's try to bribe him. It's a coin flip, but let's give it a try. Treasurer must like money, right? Come on. Hey, it worked! Beautiful. 
And what about the Supreme Commander? Oh, he looks like he's viable for persuasion attempts. If we get him on board, that's probably... Actually, we've got over 60% now. We could start our lodge now. But we did get him epic. So now, um, Eric can establish a lodge. We just need more wealth, which we can probably yoink out of England. Indeed. Withdraw resources. Wealth. Let's get a bunch out of here. Boom. Then back over here, we're going to establish a lodge. Give it another tick. We're going to establish a lodge. Perfect. <clears throat> Downside to recruiting or collecting the online Pokemon. I don't know. Maybe maybe that's more people that can be discovered. I don't... I'm not actually aware of any downside to recruiting more people. Okay. So the lodge is established here. Yes? No? Did I not? Did I not establish the lodge? Yeah, there's no t there's no timer though. Normally there's a timer over their head when they're establishing. Oh, did his secrecy drop to one? Oh, yeah, that would completely mess with him. Yeah, yeah, because it, it cancels his job when uh, his secrecy goes all the way down. So we need to tell him to hide from the world until his secrecy maxes out. So we, sp oh my god, so you spend the resources. You gotta be really careful with the secrecy. But luckily, we can just keep, like, sucking the life out of England to fund our activities everywhere else. Failed boot his ass. Hide under the sheets. Yeah. You just put the head, the hood slightly down lower. That's how you hide. Not at all sus that these people are walking around with hoods all the time. There we go. Hide from the world is done, although we need to extract a few more resources so you can try the lodge again. Because that was a bit of an oops. The influence and then the wealth. So now, yeah, his secrecy is back to 100. He had been doing a lot of recruiting. Oh, we need a little more wealth. Oh, okay. Yeah, your secrecy is 150, so you're fine. There we go. Boom, boom. Lodge established. Go. Oh yeah, his secrecy is dropping as he's trying to establish this lodge. Hopefully he's got enough in the bank. If it fails again, what we can do is we can have Walter come over here because he's got the 150 secrecy. I think we'll be fine. I think now that we've boosted it, it's going to be all right. Can you name your own secret society? The secret society doesn't really have a name other than the Brotherhood. Although one question that was there before is, can you rename your, your peeps? And I think the answer is no, unfortunately. Wait, why are you... Why are you here? And yeah, the red guy. Yeah, there's an enemy brother over here. So we know of enemy agents. Because we know there's at least one other brotherhood out there. I don't know how many. Oh, your health has suffered greatly. Oh yeah, you just took a big health hit. Oh, you're 33. Dang. Okay, well, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you to go back to hiding from the world. So, our next step in here is we need to get the... Oh, yeah, we got to get the army in Brandenburg up higher. So, we're just going to bring his secrecy back up. Might want a second brother, like a second master recruited here. I don't know. Uh, we've got you. We need to get someone else who's in the military. Okay, go. Hiding from the world is done. Perfect. Because you got a new job now. 
Oh, you failed. What about this guy? Try him. Get a master from Sweden? Yeah, well, maybe maybe we'll focus on Scandinavia, right? We'll just move our way up. Like, we've got someone who's sitting around in Denmark. Not that we're doing much with it. Oh, there's a new dude over here. Okay, we did recruit someone else, which is good. Um, what's the chance of recruiting this guy? Pretty bad, unless we go to bribes. So, actually, let me... Um, collect information on this dude. 72%. Excellent. If we get you, we should be at 40% over here, which is the next thing we need. Hopefully. Succeed? Yes. Oh, 37%. Dang it. Oh, we're firing some people. Or some people. There we go. Okay, 48%. Now done. Done. So now we have to develop a defense plan for Brandenburg. So I believe what we're doing here is we're clicking on the Supreme Commander. He's got official powers, which include developing attack plan and defense plan. So we're going to have him uh, develop a defense plan. Combat power of the Brandenburg's active army receives a positive 20% modifier. Increases from 50k to 60k for 100 days. If a war starts during this time, the effect on the Aaron will last until it ends. The effect will only take place if Brandenburg or the Alliance part of it is attacked. Repeated completion of Aaron does not increase combat power, but updates the duration of the effect. So we'll have them prep a defense plan, which is part of our goal right now. Because we're worried that um, Catholic Austria might attack Protestant Brandenburg. And we've decided to help stabilize the world by making sure Brandenburg can defend itself. Apparently. <clears throat> no more peeps in Denmark? Dang. Oh, well. Um, Great Master Brother Isaiah, I have news. Yeah. Um... Brother Isaiah, excited for the opportunity to add to the Brotherhood Manuscripts, rushes to the archive room. A few minutes later, loud thud and scream can be heard from the room. You and Brother Walter run to the archive room. Inside, you, f you see Brother Isaiah lying on the floor. Books and manuals scattered all around the room, and a small ladder used to reach the higher volumes fallen by his side. Brother Isaiah is lying on his back. His fall does not bode well for his aging body. Hey, fix your levels. Thank you very much. I've uh, been enjoying your Vampire the Masquerade run and bought it the other day. I blame slash thank you for getting me into Frostmunk 2. Keep on and good work taking over world. Thank you very much, Fix Your Levels. Denmark is now Venice. What is happening in the world? All right, we'll take a look at the map in a second here and see what the heck's going on. Oh, forgive me, Grandmaster. <laughs> I was so excited that I acted too hastily. Inexcusable at my age. We have healers among our brothers. I will bring them immediately. Instantly disappears. I think it's perfect time to give you the Brotherhood's most precious possessions. The Brotherhood Manuscript. It's, it's the help manual. Um, these are the Brotherhood Manuscripts. All knowledge gathered by the Brotherhood is compiled here. All that we know about the laws that drive the world at large. In these pages, you will find tips and clues left by your predecessors. Perhaps you will expand on them with time. Uh, losing the last of his strength. Take care of them, Grandmaster. As long as the manuscripts are intact, our work lives on. With them, the Brotherhood can be reborn. Rise again until <laughs> we fulfill our purpose. Brother Isaiah passes out. You hear footsteps approaching. You realize that you're left without advice from the old man. He's taken to his chambers where he'll be watched night and day. You pray that this was not your last conversation with him. You're left alone in the archive room with the Brotherhood manuscripts, but without the old man, fate of the Brotherhood is in your hand. As you collect the papers scattered around the archive room, you find several notes about the proposals that Isaiah wanted to pass forward. You carefully put them in the file. Perhaps you should see what the old man had to offer. New objectives appear in the Brotherhood objective window. Yep, good. Okay, so... Yeah, so we have the manuscripts here where we can read, like, tons of different things. Like, how to affect wars, for example. That seems like pretty pretty useful kind of things. Chaos control! I like it. Form breaking alliances, trading, budgeting. Like, this, you know, there is... A, this is a full grand strategy game in terms of there are... You're controlling many, 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 many different aspects of the game. Uh, and then, yeah, we've got the objectives over here. So we've got a few more things revealed. Unknown enemy! The enemy of the Brotherhood is out there, and we still don't know who it is. Did they plant our, their agents in England? Should our brothers prepare for an ambush around any corner? Or will the enemy lie and wait until we are one step away from victory? Strike us down at that very moment! So, uh, we have to discover opponent agents here. Uh, also, rulers over crowds. Um, so, ah, we need... Oh, to cr we, we should create a new political party in England. <gasps> and decrease unofficial support for a willing party. Interesting. In greatest minds, 
find the estate intellectuals tab in economies. Okay, well, we'll hang on. We'll, we'll deal with a few of these in a sec. Oh, also, some of these have options. Thinkers versus doers. Okay. Close this. Venice. France. Spain. Austria. What the? What the what? People have been busy! People have been busy! While we've been trying to, like, rebuild the Brotherhood, the great nations of the world have been out kicking each other's ass! Yeah, so this is Austria. This is Spain, so the highlighted stuff. I mean, the, the names don't really show you exactly where it is. But yeah, everything you see highlighted right now is Spain. That includes all this and several bits of this. Like, northern Germany, um, sort of the Netherlands-ish, Italy, Sweden. Um, I don't know... Wait, where are we? Yeah, so like uh, Latvia, Estonia, like weird. Okay, I wonder how it started. I didn't actually take a look at the very start of the game as to who, who has ownerships everywhere. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Now, I'm curious about this ruler over crowds. Let's create a new party because this is as far as I'd gotten in the tutorial before. So, we've got tons more stuff in locked in England. So, these buttons over here. So, England is a uh, strong power. Ruling political force in England confidently holds power over its hands. Uh, strong and growing economy. The country is ready for war. Um, alliance and wars. It has one going on. Oh, I can't click on that. Power, accidents. But, okay, society tab. Political situation in here. England, official support. On, okay. Official support is the support of the political forces by the estates that have the voting rights. The support of the ruling political force based on security need, da da da. Then there's unofficial support, estates that don't have voting rights. So, ruling party, Jacob. Official support, 44%. Unofficial support, 49%. Secret political force, William. Unofficial support. How do we start a new political party? Oh, we probably do that via an agent, because it's just a, a summary. I wonder, do we do it here? Oh, parties. Create a leader, create a political force, organize mass protests. There's lots of protests going on here. Yeah, the, the Angry Baker protests. Okay. Create a party in England. Is it a political force? Or maybe what we do is create leader Each movement should have a face, a man of admiration, an example for his followers, who's able to passionately... Uh-huh. Political force of Jacob gets a leader. Which one of these is make a political party? Also, we need to extract more resources. Let's actually start with this. They synchronize the dance protest. Maybe political force. Okay, we'll try political force and see what it does. Safety numbers, people unite to gain power, at least influence over. Common ideology provides a fundamental basis for concentrating the efforts of various people. Okay, so, oh my god. So ideology, we have absolutism, conservatism, elitism, absolute, or enlightened absolutism, extremism, feudalism, and theocracy. What is going to be the ideology of this political force we're putting together? Chat, what do we think? Absolutism, extremism, feudalism, enlightened, elitism. Lots of, okay, let's go elitism. Religion. Wow. Well, let's go with Protestantism. Protestantism. Which I can never say right, because we are in England. So we'll be aligned with the official government. Political force status. Okay, we're going to be a secret political force. 
Uh, form of government, I guess, that we're supporting. Absolute monarchy, bourgeois republic, constitutional monarchy, electoral monarchy. Which form of government should we support? I mean, if our ideology is elitism, it feels like some version of monarchism seems to be correct. <laughs>